This video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to convert any of your photographs uh, to make it look like it was uh, hand drawn with a pen. So, uh, to make this conversion here, you need something that is going to be fairly uh, simple to use. Not all images are going to be good for this. So, for example, this one is pretty good here because the background here isn't too intense. There isn't too much going on. It's mainly just these two people here on the photo, these two kids. Uh, close up of things, some flowers, objects. Uh, simpler things uh, would look best. So let's uh, work with this image here. So what we want to do here is uh, double click here on the layer uh, to transform it into a regular layer. We're going to add a new layer to the bottom here and fill it in with white. So that's um, control and backspace here because white is my background color at the moment. Otherwise it would be control and backspace. Remember the two. So we filled it in with white and now I'm going to duplicate this again. So we have a white layer and two copies of that image. Right. Now what we're going to do, we're going to be making some modifications to this top layer here. So we're going to go into filter, show all menu items if you have that as an option there just to uh, show everything. And now we're going to go into other and high pass. Filter, other, and high pass. And with this, uh, we want to select the radius that is appropriate for the image. Let me show you what you don't want. What you don't want is something that is too much of a radius that will give you sort of like a glow to the images. You don't want, whenever you see the glow, you don't want that. So depending on the size of the image, if it's a, a bigger image uh, with, uh, you know, like a more megapixels, a 10 megapixel image and so forth, you're going to be using high pixels. And if it's a low one like this, this is a pretty small image, you're going to be using very small. So in this case here, Something like a five will do pretty well. So you just see just a little bit of the edges. You can you can see the details here in the mouths and the eyes, but you're not exaggerating it too much, right? So you can tell the difference. This is too much, and this is just right. So something that looks like this will be fine for you. We're gonna head and, go ahead and click OK. Now we're gonna go back into Filter, show all menu items again if you need to. Now go into Sketch and Note Paper. And with notepaper selected, what we need to do is set our image balance to 25, grayness to zero, and the relief to zero, so that we get something that looks like this, right? Now you can try uh, playing around with the image balance. You'll see that the image will start coming on its own and pretty much just click into place. For example, 24, and you're not getting enough of the, the details in the image. 25, you are. And in this case here, 26, we start flipping over to the other side. So it might be 25, usually it is. If it's not, just play around with it. And it's very sensitive to the little movements there. So 25 here in this image is the good balance. We'll go ahead and click OK on that. And now we're going to change the mode of this layer here from normal. We're going to change it to multiply so that we're overlaying it over this image here. And in the original image, what we, we, we wanted to keep this original image here because I want to use it just as to add a little bit of color to it. Now, let me just remove it entirely for you to see what happens. So at the moment, we have this image as it is here. It's quite nice, but adding a little bit of color to it makes it a little bit nicer. So what we can do is just change the opacity to something like a 10% or 20%. I wouldn't really go much higher than 30. So I'm going to stick here with 20% on this image so that we have some details of this drawing coming forth, right? Now the next step here is uh, just to go into our drawing layer, the top layer, add a layer mask, and now we just want to go ahead and remove some some of the excessive spottiness in the image, right? So uh, anything that uh, you don't want from the image, go ahead and start removing it. Usually you'll find that there will be some parts of the image that you will want to clean up. It just looks a little bit too dirty, like here, the areas that I'm cleaning, right? And we can go ahead and, for example, remove some appearances of bags in her eyes here. It's just a kid, but, you know. So we can we can make things a little bit smoother and uh, just clean up the image in general. Right, so there we are. I think this image has been uh, cleaned up pretty nicely here. And uh, as you can see here, we have uh, our original image here. If we bring back to 100% here, uh, our image as it was. And now if we bring it down to 20%, there we are. We've got our before and the after. Just uh, it's a really nice little uh, way to make it seem like you actually, you know, hand drew 
the, uh, the stuff here in the image. If you want, just as a last stop here, if you just want to make this a little bit darker, if you're not too fond of the gray here, what you can do is just duplicate the image. You get more of the uh, you know the, the darkness in the lines, and you can always then grade it that back, just knock it back a little by changing the opacity, so you can make it you know as strong or as light as you want it to be. So there you are. It's just a matter of personal preference. Uh, I prefer it just a little bit lighter, like so. Just a, a light touch to, to an image to look like it's been hand-drawn. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website, and we'll create even more videos that interest you.